Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are celebrating Lokhi Pujo as in Lakshmi Puja in West Bengal. And we make khichuri, bhoger khichuri on this day. We eat this bhoger khichuri with labra. So let's see how to make bhoger khichuri. We'll take one cup of moong dal and we're going to dry roast it on medium heat till it turn pink or very light brown. You'll get beautiful aroma of uh, roasted moong dal. You'll not wash it first. Without washing, we are going to dry roast it and then we'll transfer it to a bowl or a pan and then pour water to it and wash it thoroughly. We're going to pour water while the dal is still hot. So be careful, do not burn your hand. Wash it thoroughly and rinse it and spread it to dry. Here I'm transferring it to a strainer and then we're going to spread it nicely so that it's dried. Then I'll take the same quantity of rice. So whatever quantity of dal you take, the same quantity of rice. Here we use Gobindu Bhog rice. It has a beautiful aroma, very small in size. So here I have washed the rice thoroughly and again I'm going to strain it and spread it so that this can also be dried. Then. I'm going to take a karhai and add 2 tablespoon of refined oil and 2 teaspoon of ghee. Ghee will give beautiful aroma to the khichuri. Then I'm going to fry some cashew nuts in it. Once the oil is hot, there. I'm going to roast it nicely till you get that beautiful aroma. Keep it aside. I'll also fry some raisins. You can add some other dry fruits if you wish to, like pistachio or other nuts. I'm using only raisins and cashew nuts. This also I'm going to fry in very low heat. Raisins burn very quickly, so be very careful while frying it. After that, in the same oil, I'm going to add some dry red chilies. This you can add or reduce the numbers as per your requirements. Some bay leaves and fry it till you get that aroma. And then I'm going to use khara masala or we say gota garam masala. So some uh, cardamom, some cloves and cinnamon sticks. Once it's fried and you get that aroma, I'm going to add ginger and green chili paste. It's a vegetarian dish. So in vegetarian dish, we Bengalis don't use onion or garlic. So we are making it only with uh, ginger and green chili paste and other dry masalas like turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin powder and some garam masala, shahi garam masala. And now I am going to fry this masala till the raw spice smell is gone. To that I am going to add some grated coconut. I am using the dry coconut, copra, but you can use fresh coconut as well. This will add or enhance the flavor. Once the masala is nicely roasted and there is no raw smell coming, you will add the rice to it and nicely fry it. Remember this is called bhuna khichuri. So you have to fry it nicely. Bhuna means fried. So you have to fry the rice nicely so that it absorbs the spices and it takes the flavor within. So nicely roasted, you'll see, uh, you can smell be a beautiful aroma of this rice. Gobindu Bhog rice has beautiful aroma coming out of it. And once the rice is nicely roasted, you'll add the moong dal to it. So here is my washed and roasted moong dal, which I'm going to mix with the rice and stir it again. Please keep the heat medium. Do not increase the heat. It might burn your khichuri. This is a food or a recipe that you have to make on low heat. Nicely uh, mix it so that it incorporates the flavor. Now add salt to your taste. I've added one teaspoon for now. And equal quantity of sugar. Yes, you need to add sugar to this khichuri. So one teaspoon of sugar as well. Some people like it more sweet. So you can add another half a teaspoon of uh, sugar. Otherwise, uh, one teaspoon is enough. Now add double quantity of water. So I have taken one cup of rice and one cup of dal. That makes two cup. So here I'm adding four cups of water. After that, hot water. Please do not use uh, cold water. And to that, I'm adding the fried cashews and raisins. And now I'm going to give it a stir and let it cook. You can add some green chilies also if you like spicy food. Then you can add some more green chilies. 
Now you have to cover it and let it cook on medium or rather low heat for nearly 15 to 20 minutes. And once it's done or 95% cooked, you will top it with bhaja garam mashla or bhaja mashla we call it. We use it for labra also. I will give the recipe of bhaja mashla in the description box. And on top of it, you can add some more ghee. I have not added it. If you wish, you can add some more ghee. So here are guna khichuri or bhoger khichuri is ready. Please enjoy these with labra and let me know how you like this video. Thank you.